Hey everyone, it's time for April favorites. Late as usual. I don't know, I can't control myself. It is what it is. And I'm sorry, kind of, not really. You should know by now. All right, let's just get right into it because we've got no time for messing around. Okay, first one we're gonna do, it's a favorite. I'm starting with favorites and I'm gonna go to Rejects. The Malibu Tan Hemp Golden Glow Skin Firming Bronzing Moisturizer with CoQ10 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not sure if it does the actual firming action. I'm not, I'm not sure what the result of that would be. But anyway, it's basically like a gradual tanner. I believe I definitely included this in my, my hair's crazy today. Y'all forgive me. I definitely included this in my Walmart haul not too long ago. It was like under six dollars. As you know, obsessed with the fake tan, obsessed with all things self-tannery and self-tannery. Um, so I tried this. I, I was a little confused. I thought it was the other hemp one. That one you can get at Sally. I still haven't tried that one. I like the smell of this one. I don't think I included it in my favorites last month. Ugh. I don't remember. I'm really sorry. I use this every day, whether I have self tan the night before or whether I've gotten a spray tan or whatever. Okay, now you're gonna be like going down to the comments and be like, can you tell us about your self tanner routine? I get this comment like literally every day. I promise I will do it. I filmed a whole self tanner video and it ended up being like 30 minutes long, like outrageous. And it was kind of scattered all over the place. So. I'm telling myself I need to refilm that and I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do either two parts or three parts and I'm gonna go over like the different sections of like favorite products, um, methods and processes. <laughs> I'm like breaking it down like it's a syllabus for a class. Um, and then the last would be maintenance and this would go in the maintenance portion because um, you know you do yourself tan, you, you have your tan or whatever and then you shave your legs if you're like me you shave your legs like kind of a lot every day I'm sorry I am a high maintenance person and I shave my legs every day so over time or through the week or whatever you lose your tan faster on your legs than you would like your arms or whatever because it's like a light exfoliation whenever you shave um but if you use this like as your moisturizer or over your moisture moisturizer which is what I do because I'm also a psycho on that um this can kind of like back up or reinforce the tan and it doesn't smell it doesn't get a smell through the day I like the smell it's really inexpensive I definitely suggest this I really like it um and I promise I will do that video really 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 soon I'm so sorry I haven't gotten it up I did try and I kind of failed but I'm trying to do my best work for you guys okay anyway moving on next up I just got this, but I already knew I loved it, so I'm allowed to completely say that it's my favorite. Um, it's the Lust Solid Perfume by Lush. I had the the sampler where you get like the little vials of all the different ones, like the little Gorilla Perfume sampler. It comes in a little thing with the banana. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe not. Anyway, I used like all of the Karma and I was almost done with the lust and I dropped it and I broke it. I tweeted a picture of it and I was heartbroken. It was glass so it was just like everywhere and it's red. I, I love how it's red. It's really nice. Um, I wish I could tell you, it actually does say it on here because I was trying to describe it earlier and oh cool I didn't know about that. They have kind of like a back to Mac kind of program You when you bring back five. I didn't even know that. Okay. Jasmine, Rose, one that I don't want to say is like two wise, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, Vanilla and Sandalwood, and I think those are the main ones. It's like really loud. I'm so sorry for the background noises, but I love this smell. I'm so happy. I have a new one. I went without it for so long, and I kept telling myself I was going to go buy it. It's only $10, and I can like throw this in my purse, no problem. Um, I don't know. I love it. I don't think anyone else in this entire world, well, in my little world bubble. I don't think anybody else really appreciates the smell as much as I do, which um, is problematic. So like, yo, you don't like my perfume? <laughs> I love it. I'm going to wear it anyway. Um, I don't know what you do with that situation, but I love it. Okay. Oh, next up, this one, I've definitely already talked about this and I actually did a whole video covering how I use it, just talking all about it. It's the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess uh, Luminous Liquid Bronzer. I love this stuff. I had to put it in this favorites just because, I don't know, I guess it's just like really on my mind. I 
don't skip it. Like, I use it every day. I really, really, really love this stuff. And if you wanna know more about that, I'll like link the video down below and you can hear like way more about it. This was definitely my favorites last month and it's in it this month and there's even another video. I'm obsessed and I need to stop, okay. Anyway, this. I know I've suggested this to people like personally, well not personally, but on the internet personally, like people talking about primers and I'm like, you better try this one, this is my all time favorite, or I believe I've talked about it before, I'm not sure. I don't know, I think I talked about it whenever I did the Sephora haul because I ordered all that stuff just so I could get the sample of the new serum slash primer. I think it's like number 25, number something. I can't remember, but I talked all about that. I like ordered stuff just to get that sample. Um, but it's by Hourglass. This is not that. This is the one that I already had. It's the original Veil Mineral Primer. And I love this stuff. I love this stuff so much. I started using it in December of last year. Before that, I really loved the Makeup Forever. And then I thought I loved the NARS, but I think that that was doing terrible things to my skin. So I don't love that. Don't suggest it. I have like a full bottle of it if you want it. I wouldn't want to give it to you because it's not good. Um, this stuff, however, amazing. Seriously, I love this stuff so much. I, I won't, I just love this stuff so much. And got to tell you this, I suggest this so much and talk about it on Twitter and stuff like that so much that Hourglass sent me an email and they're like, hey, we saw you really love our primer and we're going to send you something. Do you want something? And I was like, oh yeah, I want to try that bronzer because I saw Josh Collier, I believe that's his name. Um, it's a channel on YouTube. He's pretty cool. And I saw him do a video about the waterproof bronzer. So I wanted to try that and I was like, yeah, give me the waterproof bronzer. And then they send me this whole box of stuff. So I am trying out all this new hourglass stuff and I'm so, so juicy. I don't even know what this hand motion means. I'm just so excited. There's, I guess I'm being washed with excitement maybe. I'm not sure. But this is one that I have been using for a long, long, long time. And I can tell you absolutely without a doubt, I love this primer. It's my holy girl primer. It is what it is. But yeah, I'm trying out all that other stuff and I'll do a review or I'll tell you about the great stuff whatever. And you can get this stuff at Sephora if you want to get a sample. Just get a sample. Don't you ever be scared to ask for samples. Okay, the last favorite that I'm going to share today is the Laura Mercier Universal Invisible Loose Setting Powder. Kind of confusing. I thought I had heard about this in like a review or something or somebody was talking about this, but now I can't even remember who that was, but I was like on the hunt for it. The Sephora by me is like always sold out of it. So it took me forever. I actually ended up having to order it online because I was just so fed up of going in there and it was always sold out, annoying. But that even kind of drove me a little bit more towards like, oh, I really need this um, because it was always sold out. I was like, oh, okay, well, people love this stuff. So it's just a, I think it's like a silica. It's a lot like the HD. Makeup Forever one, which I've had that one and then I got scared of it because you know, all those people doing those pictures where the flash and it made you look crazy. Um, apparently this one doesn't do that. I haven't really like put it to the test or anything, um, but I do like this one and I'm like back to using the, the powder like this. And so I'm into this right now, I don't know. So let's get into the rejects or the there's another word that I've used at other times for that. I don't know. The ones I didn't like so much. Okay, this is one that, I don't know, I got it months ago, definitely months ago. I don't think I've talked about it, but it's because I was like kind of torn, but I've had it on my mind. And more than anything, I think this is a user error. Um, it's <laughs> Steph Busta, I, I heard her talking about it in a video and she got me really excited about it and like went out and bought it immediately without really thinking it through. You know, really thinking about me and how I am and how I use products. I just got a little too excited because that happens. It's the Tarte Multiply Clinically Proven Natural Lash Enhancer. And I, the actual product's not even in here. It's in my bathroom because in my mind, I was gonna use it like every day. Basically, you just paint on this like clear lash serum. I think you're supposed to do it twice a day or maybe just at night when you're totally clean. I think it's just at night. Um, I just used it on and off and I couldn't commit and I felt like an idiot because this stuff was like $70. 
for the time that I did use it consistently, it didn't really make a huge difference. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I'm addicted to fake lashes anyways. I don't even know. More than anything, I just felt really dumb for spending all the money on it. Have you guys had good luck with this? I need to get back into using it so I can give it a fair reject or a favor. Anyway, this is my last reject. It is the Urban Decay Marshmallow. Marshmallow. I guess that's how they spell that. I never really knew. Good to know. Sparkling Lickable Body Powder. This actually came in a set that I got like a long time ago. And for whatever reason, I had never actually like taken it out and tried to use it. And really cute, not actually really cute, it actually looks really tacky, but um, I don't know, it's kind of cute with the, like the little tassel, but I wish it wasn't like zebra. I don't want this to get everywhere, but I have to show you. Okay, so it's like a body powder that is just, it's pure glitter. It smells so good. It smells like marshmallows. It comes with a little like purple plushy puff thing and it's just it's just pure glitter there's no point in even showing this to you but it's like I mean maybe if you were doing like a cheer competition and you're like I don't know in high school or I don't know who uses this much glitter this stuff is like always on sale it's always like in packages and stuff they're trying to get rid of this stuff or something because it's awful it's not practical not great like I don't know, even if you like glitter, even if you like the shimmer, it's like, this is just too much. But it does taste good and it does smell good, so if you can find a use there. Okay, so I think that's everything I have to share. Um, no, I have one more favorite. Oh my, I have a channel favorite. Um, it's Lolly Dolly and I think she has numbers, but I am going to put it somewhere. I love her channel. She's so great and so gorgeous and her hair is so perfect and her little boy is so perfect and she's just, I love her and she's so funny. I love her, I love her, I love her. Go check her out. I'll put a link down there. Okay, let's move on. Here, I hope you guys had a really good month and you are like rolling on into May. I am so rolling on into May because <sighs> spring semester sucked, y'all. And then I have kind of like a month off, so hopefully I'll be putting out like a whole bajillion videos. That's what I'm trying to do. In my mind, that's what I'm going to do. Cross your fingers. We'll see. Okay moving on if you have any comments or questions check the description and then you can go and uh, leave me a comment down below or you can like me on Facebook and you can catch me there or you can get me on Twitter it's at Leanne says always there and pretty much every social media I'm Leanne says and also another thing I ask of you <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone! Um, can you hear that? It's like a very noisy, noisy night around here. Okay, so. Um, first off, I don't even know how to list these favorites. Okay. Um, pretty sure it doesn't. Not really sure what it means by that. Um, as you know, phone is vibrating as you know <laughs> if I did but saying it again anyway um lots of excuses over here today um love um 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 it's the Tarte high performance oh just kidding um the idea is I guess that was kind of just a personal diss okay